wanna go How much you wanna risk For somebody with some superhuman gifts Some superheroes Some fairy tale bliss Somebody I can kiss Can't go too long, I'll get in trouble. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Man, how y'all doing? Oh my god, this is just a bit too much. Let's see what we got going on this morning, huh? Divine energies have been all over the place, you guys, man. Alright, one, a lot of people are like, oh, um, they feel a bit of a disconnect going on with a lot of stuff right now. And that is because a lot of people did a lot of big releasing um, over these last few, this last full moon, right? I do, and you have to if you work in the spiritual community. You get if you work in your witches groups, all that. You guys do have to periodically, at least once or twice a year, do a full spiritual release where you release all chords, right? I release all chords from me. And, you know, feel your own feelings for a little bit. And make sure that they're just your own. I'm telling you, you'll feel better after a couple of days. Dude, though, it's been crazy. In the universe, oh, man. Can you hear it? Can you hear those footsteps sneaking up behind you? Here comes Mercury. And this is going to be a big one because this is part of this big multi-planetary retrograde that's happening. Oh, good Lord. I can tell you, not only did I do all the releasing and all that, I've been dreaming again. And there's been just so much going on. I don't know. Some of you guys will get it. Some of you guys won't. I'm not really too, too concerned about that. But I have told you guys before. There hits a certain point, especially if you're really good at, like, lucid dreaming, that if you... You can't bring your full on. You gotta look... If you're gonna lucid dream and work with those things... Nothing new under this sun. <laughs> if you're gonna work with those kind of things... um and do spiritual work, you got to look at things from the spiritual perspectives, and you cannot be tied and bound to um, the rules and regulations down here. There's different rules, right? We all what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit, of course. They say in heaven, love comes first. On my knees, reaching for fireflies that ain't got no wings. I still keep thinking about that firefly. Just one. Just one. I did try to catch it for about half a second. Man, I also had that crow this week. That was crazy this weekend. So I had this crow show up. That was today. Sunday? I had this crow show up on Friday. And it came by twice, and both times the, the cardinals in my oak tree chased it off. And I don't know, usually like usually I see crows as just messengers, like be prepared for a message or whatever. And trust me, so much happened this weekend. But I distinctly got the sense when I, the way the, the, way the other birds ran off the crow. And now it's nesting season, and that's natural. But it's not so much that, I, you know, I was like, I feel like it's a spy. And people are like, oh, you know, the, the odds of somebody actually astral traveling in a crow to spy on you is very slim. By the way, that is exactly how Apollo used to spy on his lovers. Which were Cronus and uh, Cassandra. C and C. Too funny. But I do see it as a sign, as a confirmation, as a gut feeling because um, 
like a week or so ago, I went ahead and I shut my Facebook down where I went back, sleep for chance to dream. Ooh, somebody been sleeping extra. Where was I? Oh, that's right, the crow. I know somebody's been upset that I took my profile picture down and that I limited all my past posts and I've been setting all my stuff to friends only lately. Makes it a lot harder to just pop over and peek on my page. If they want to now, they all have to switch over to their stalker pages. People are like, why don't you just block the stalkers? Dude, they can just, they are hackers. They can get other people's freaking into other people's profiles. They use dead accounts and stuff. I don't know, maybe they buy them off Facebook. I'm not really sure how it works. But. So I've definitely had that energy going on. There's been a lot going on here, I told you guys. Uh, and I can't do nothing till Monday. And I hate those situations, right? I'm an Aries. I ain't got no patience for that. What? We can't tell you. We can't talk, can't talk to anybody till shit happens on Friday. And there's nothing you can do about it till Monday. Because everything is closed. And that leads me to being a very anxious, anxious person. I spent all day being so anxious and so stressed out about everything, right? And at the end of the night, I'm just sitting there with my cards, and we're just over and over and over again. Him with the runes, and me with the cards. And it's just like, it's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Go to, you know, walk to the store. The truck passes, and 143's on the license plate, and all these synchronicities and stuff. And it's just all saying, it's going to be fine. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Just breathe. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And sometimes that's just what you need. Is someone to say, it's going to be okay. On the 3D, you got somebody who's extremely conf uh, conflicted. They definitely want teamwork and collaborations in their lives. They do. There is lots of options around them, but they're looking into the past fondly. So it's like they got lots of options and things around them that they can manifest anything new that they want, but they're still looking back. And that's got them in a bit of a mental prison. Right? A little bit stuck. On the 4D, on the 4D, I'm just going to go ahead and say, by looking at this, you got the Queen of Swords here in the middle. So you got the divine feminine energy, thoughts and words are focused right now on what it is that they're going to do and their timelines and everything else. And all this, the Queen of Swords has got that higher 
air perspective, right? And all this can just kick rocks. All this drama, all this trying to be fair, all this bullshit trying to be equal, all this, oh, just learn your lessons and, I'm, and just keep going. You know, at some point, the drama's just got to stop, y'all. The drama's just got to stop. Give your, Create your world as you need it to find yourself some damn peace. Let go of all that drama. On the 4D, worrying about what other people are thinking and other people are doing and all those other connections and whatever, right? You learned enough lessons from that cycle. Let it go. Let it go, right? It is definitely time to start nurturing those flames within yourself, nurturing your own knowledge, realizing that the spiritual answers you are seeking are not without you but within you. Flip the perspective. Flip the perspective. Dude, at some point, we all hit a point, and every time we fall down a belief rabbit hole, where you hit that, that wall where you're like, well, I'm sorry. But this right here just don't make no damn sense. I know there's no way in hell, based on my past lives and... everything that I've been through just in this life that I would have signed up for some of this bullshit that other people think I signed up for you know don't let anybody convince you that you do not have control over your old soul contracts right free destiny is set but the path to get there is your own right do whatever you want man it's not If you don't like a timeline, jump it. If you don't like a timeline, jump it. Right? Change the perspective. Switch the perspective. Keep focused on your skills, for sure. Keep focusing on those. Keep, you know, an eye open for those new buds and things forming. Get the Six of Cauldrons here again. And I love it in this deck because... She's looking at the six cups behind her, and she's kind of brushing off this dude behind her, right? She's looking at all the cups in front of her and kind of brushing off this guy behind her, like, you know, I don't know, you know, like, he's desperate for her attention. And look what's in her cups, right? She's like, I'm not really worried about that. I'm going to worry about... my garden for a while right I'm gonna put that memory and everything else and perspective and all that craziness right you got to put that in a healthy perspective at some point and let it go and move on from it right I do see messages of passion coming in immature messages of passion so if you're getting ready to write a message of passion just take a minute take a breath and like put some effort into being as mature as possible in it right um keep in mind that whatever energy you're writing to has a vastly different perspective on the world and relationships than you so yeah just be careful all right fairy magic we've been talking about that a lot lately when you start experiencing things where you're dealing with understanding higher dimensional beings on a different wave like people are always just like oh fairies aren't real I'm like I don't think fairies are these little people with pixie wings flying around I see them as 5d celestial beings right they're not their energy, their energy thing, they're, they're not on our frequency, so we cannot see them. We can't see a lot of things. You know, the human eye can't see a lot. I mean, for as much as it can see, right? Think about it this way. When you're looking at the full moon, right? And you're going to take a picture of the full moon, right? And you see it, and it's this gorgeous, panoramic, beautiful, the way it's coming through the clouds, and you're like, oh, I couldn't be more beautiful. And then you pick up your phone and you flip over the camera and it's just a blurry line, right? Well, in the same 
there is a lot the same as the camera can't see all the details and beauty that you can see in the moon and those things we also can't see a lot of colors there's so much color that we can't see there's a lot of stuff that we cannot see and celestial energies is something that we usually cannot see doesn't mean you can't sense and feel them and all those other things. It's definitely you can you can interact with them on if you can release your 3D body, lucid dreaming and things of those nature. I don't know. I probably sound like a crazy person to most of the people who know me in real life. It's been a trip. This has not been an easy journey. Sleep per chance to dream. I just get a really strong sense that somebody's doing everything they can just so they can sleep, just so they can get one more round in that dream state. And whatever you're doing to get yourself to sleep is not helping you. Yeah, it's not good for you. And you're sleeping too much. Or you're living in some sort of fantasy too much. I feel like part of you can't even figure out which reality is which at this point. When you can get really good at some of these things, you can almost create... It's, it's uh, the, the 5D dream state realms are kind of like Minecraft, right? Where you can have your own world and you can build whatever you want in it, right? Oh, better than Minecraft. Let's not let's not go of video games for a minute. Because it's not a game. It's not a game. It's not a game. Just because everything is energy doesn't mean that energy doesn't... These souls don't have emotions and feelings and deserve respect. And des Just because you think life is a video game and there is people out there that treat it like this. They they go to these heartless courses that teach you how to get through this world by stomping on everybody else and their life has no meaning unless they are doing better than somebody else. If your life has zero value unless you can go well, we can beat them then your life has no value. You have no value. Nothing has value. You're void. It's very hollow. Let's see. We got any more from the card from the deck of many things? What do we got? All that we are is a result of what we have thought. Every rose has its thorns. Yeah, I just shared that yesterday too. One of my favorite sayings is a rose cannot, um, a lotus cannot bloom in a garden built for a rose. And I was like, yeah, I wrote that quote, but I never said I was a lotus. I have such a love-hate relationship with this damn song. Some of y'all know the history. All that we are is a result of what we have thought. That's what I was kind of getting into. That was, um, yeah, I was thinking never-ending story. You guys ever seen the never-ending story? If you haven't, you should. It's beautiful. There's a luck dragon. Um, never-ending story really is about going through a dark night of a soul. It's going through a dark night of a soul as a child, too, at that point. Right? You have all the cliches of a dark night of a soul. The swamp of despair. Losing the horse. Can't save everybody. Can't sink with them. Right? The nothing. The nothing was lack of imagination. Right? Came down to the very, very end. All Sebastian had to do. Sebastian. Call out my name. Ooh. Princess and her tower, huh? That was a killer tower. The princess's tower in there. The last remaining thing floating through space. What? All it took was one word. 
all he had to do was scream out that print, give her a name. One, he had to come up with the name. And once he screamed out her name and acknowledged that what he was experiencing was real, that's when he was able to use his imagination to completely rebuild Fantasia. The Encyclopedia Galactica on its chapter on love states that it is far too complicated to define. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy has its own to say it on the subject. Avoid, if at all possible. Watch your step out there, guys. There is shit everywhere. I love y'all. Blessed be all those who walk the weird and windy ass paths with me. I love you guys. Be back as soon as I can.